We're in Corvallis on the campus of Oregon State University. There are now close to 25,000 students from all 50 states and 89 countries attending this institution. So glad you're with us, everyone. I'm Ken Ackerman. You're watching Comcast Newsmakers. Well, there's good news and bad news. Good news, 3.5 is the grade point average you need if you want to come to Oregon State. That was the average in 2011. Here's the bad news. Nationally, up to 50% of the kids entering kindergarten aren't ready for that stage of their life. Please welcome from uh, Oregon State University, Megan McClellan, Associate Pro Professor at the Halley Ford Center. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know, 50%. When you say they're not mm -hmm. ready for kindergarten, what's the criteria that you follow to be ready for sure. kindergarten? When we're talking about readiness for kindergarten, we're talking about being able to sit still, follow directions, play well with other kids, um, you know, transition well to other activities, um, have some sort of self-control, as well as some early academic sort of indication of academic skills. And where do you see as a society that we're failing our kids? Um, you know, I think there's many parts of that. Um, I think one of the things is we have so many different priorities and things going on in our in our lives that it makes it really can make it very um, difficult for kids to know. Um, there's so many busy schedules, parents who have are pulled in many different directions that it's hard to provide a real stable and secure um, environment for young children. And when you have lots of screen time too with young children, there's lots of changing stimulation that is happening mm -hmm. a lot on TV and that can really promote inattention in young children. So you're saying limit the TV? Limit the TV and provide you know, really the time that you have with children, really utilize that in ways that can be really fun and engaging with them. So let's say a father or a mother comes home from work, you have a half hour to play with your child after all is said and done. How do you optimize that time to put it to its best use? I was, you know, thinking that it's so easy for us to get into the patterns of our daily routine and life. And what's really helpful is if you can really stop and wait to do the dishes you know minute you know get your dinner ready but really take the time you can with kids and play with them read a book do a puzzle really be on the floor with them um, and not just sit in front of a television with them but do lots that you know that are really fun and engaging activities for them mm -hmm. um, that's the thing that really helps your relationship with them and it will really engage them in some important learning activities that will help them have the skills they need um, do you think a lot of parents say it is the teacher's responsibility to get them ready, it's not theirs? Sometimes that can be. I think that teachers um, really have so much to deal with when you have large class, you know, lots of children in their class who have come into their classroom with such a variety of skills and other issues. And when you have more and more children that are coming into, in some ways, more structured classroom settings, and they are having more and more difficulty even controlling their behavior uh, and their thoughts and their feelings, that that can be incredibly difficult uh, for teachers. So it's especially important for parents, I think, to do a lot uh, to help kids practice those sorts of self-control control skills. Do you have your PhD in, in human development? Uh, and developmental psychology. Deve developmental mm -hmm. psychology. Why just number one reason it is so important to have your child ready for the next step of their life? Because that sets the stage for their success throughout their whole life, you know? I mean, not just, that. there's many points along the way that you can change course, there's many forks along the, your road that you can intervene, but I think early on, especially in the first five years, it's just such an important, critical, sensitive period of development for young children, especially the skills that, you know, are gonna set them up for success later on. And the skills that we have focused a lot on are is their ability to have some kind of self-control, or we call it self-regulation how well children can control their behavior, um, follow directions, play well. Yeah, uh, traits that I, I guess would follow them throughout their education yeah. and life. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, uh, Dr. McClellan, for joining us, and we appreciate thank you. your time. Thank you. All right, we want to thank you for being here as well. For Memorial Union on the campus of Oregon State University, I'm Ken Ackerman for Comcast Newsmakers.